My name is Katie Tun, and I live on the Isle of Skye. I work as an artist. My studio is downstairs, it kind of overlooks the sea, so it's a nice place to work. There are lots of creative people up here. I mainly specialise in portraiture. I grew up in Windsor, very kind of normal, happy upbringing, just me and my mum. And then I moved to London for university. Then I spent a month of 2013 kind of travelling around Scotland with no map or no plan. And my heart was in Scotland. My heart was by the sea in the Hebrides, one of the furthest places away from London that you can get. I was very keen to show my family that I was running to something and not away from anything. The sky is very good for the soul. I'm actually in the most northern house on the sky and uh, you can't tell in the summer, but uh, in the winter, with the wind and the rain and uh, the gales, you can definitely tell it's the most northern house. <laughs> the weather. The weather is a character here. It's pretty incredible. When I first got here, I looked out of the window and there's a rabbit on the lawn and it got caught in the wind and it rolled across the ground like a like tumbleweed before it got stuck in the fence and then ran off again. And I think that says everything about the wind up here. I've always been interested in wildlife since I was a child. Kind of fascinated with all kinds of animals. I've always been, I've always been the person who has to rescue the moth out of the pond and that kind of thing. I've got a project called Art for Oceans. Basically, Art for Oceans aims to raise awareness of marine conservation issues through art. And when I moved up here, within the first month, I organised a beach clean. When you see how badly such beautiful kind of areas and such incredible creatures are faring, you get quite, quite mad about it, and that spurs you on to do stuff. It's not that people leave litter on the beaches, it's the stuff that washes up, the kind of stuff that gets washed down the drains and goes out into the ocean, it's the stuff that comes off cruise ships or fishing boats. If you have a bad day and you just kind of look at the ocean and you, you just can't help but want to go in, it's so clear and it's so blue. It's good for the soul, for people to be around water and I'm sure there are lots of essays and things on it. It's like it restarts everything. The sky's got the ocean, it's got the mountains. It's huge, there's, there's something that makes you feel very small and there's something very valuable and seeing that. And then you look at the wildlife and you realise how diverse and complex it is. Once you start knowing how the oceans are being treated, you can't do anything but change your lifestyle. And it's not a choice, it's, it's almost like you feel like you have to. Until you actually look and see what there is you don't realise how much it needs to be looked after. <laughs>